Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thanks for being here. I'm so happy you're here. You look great, you're doing great. Let's watch a movie together. We did a poll, a poll of a poll, a poll, poll. One of our amazing patrons built a whole website for patrons to request their movies. I took the top 50 requests, put numbers one through 50 in a bowl, and drew out six numbers, Stargate, 1994, Coming to America, 1988, Pleasantville, 1998, Starship Troopers, 1997, Interstellar, 2014, The Abyss, 1989, and Galaxy Quest, 1999. So there was like a kind of a sci-fi 80s, 90s theme, which was kind of fun. Galaxy Quest was our winner, but by only 15 votes and second was Interstellar. To be fair, I've seen parts of Interstellar. I fell asleep, little to no memory of it, except Matthew McConaughey standing in an ocean in a desert. Someone was in a desert. Okay, there was also like 400 and something comments on Patreon debating whether I should watch Star Trek before watching Galaxy Quest. In the end, I think I decided that I generally have some knowledge of Star Trek to still have fun with this. My dad watched a lot of Star Trek growing up and so I definitely caught things here and there. I knew like this guy and this guy and the guy, the captain in the wheelchair. They're like little outfits with the pins. I'm trying to think of any other core Star Trek memories. No, okay. I just remember them being on the ship and the interacting, there was cafeteria perhaps, IDK. Anyways, I think I'm gonna have fun with this. Tim the Toolman Taylor, are you kidding me? Yes, sign me up. Santa Claus, pop position. I love him, so this is gonna be fun. I haven't watched a comedy in a while. What better way to break up depressing January than with a fun comedy. If you wanna get in on these kind of polls, come on over and debate Star Trek with us. Uh, here's my Patreon, always no pressure, but if you could just hit that like and subscribe, so easy, helps me so much. Okay, let's watch the show. There's a town in the province where I'm from called Vulcan, and it has something to do with Star Trek. I don't remember what. Is Vulcan a planet? I don't know. I think there's a big spaceship there you can go take a picture with. Alan Rickman's in it? All systems are working, Commander. I don't like it. The mullet. This looks like a video game. It's a cold meltdown, sir. It can't be stopped. That's that guy from Monk. My dad used to watch that a lot, too. Order, sir? What? Activate the Omega-13. Oh, that's why it was so cheesy. It was a movie. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, that was Sigourney Weaver. She looked hot. At the moment you've all been waiting for the intrepid crew of the N-S-E-A. Protector! Yeah! An hour and a half late? An hour and a half. He booked another appearance without us. You're kidding. Uh, uh, okay, so this is years coming? later. Not again. I was an actor once. You had a character people loved. I mean, my TV guide interview was six paragraphs about my boobs and how they fit into my suit. <laughs> Your commander is on deck. Am I too late for Alexander's panic attack? <sighs> Apparently not. What did I do? You're late, sir. So they are off the air now, but these are like people that love it. It's not a big deal, these guys been all set in their basement. I'm there about an hour. Alexander, wait, grab him, grab him. Okay, here we go. You stole all my best lines. Tony Madison. Gwen DeMarco. Yeah. Nothing you say will make me. His voice is so distinct. Damn it. The show must go on. You shall be yeah. My fellow Questerians. Questerians. Peter, Peter, Peter. Quincy, 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 Quincy. Tiger, 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 Tiger. Jason! Yes, <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. Fans, right? 
thank you for that nice intro you gave us today. You probably don't remember me, do you? It's the sunglasses, right? I was on the show in 82, episode 81. Got killed by a lava monster before the first commercial. Uh, we could sit in and sign a couple autographs. By Grabdar's hammer, I shall avenge you. By Grabdar's <laughs> Next. We all remember what happened at Beast on Enoch 7. <laughs> Enoch Seven. <laughs> Excuse me, Commander. Just so long. Fine, you can help settle the dispute and quasar our dilemma. Excuse me for a minute, fellas. <sighs> and you can come to the relevant commander. In episode 15, I got the feeling you and the commander kind of had a thing. The commander and I never had a thing. Well, that's her story. Commander. Excuse me. We are Thermians from the Clatu Nebula, and we need your help. Is this about the gig tomorrow? Make sure there's a limo at my house. Remember, mum is the word. Mum. 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 Okay, there was this kid in high school who always said that. We need your help. <laughs> I didn't know it was from this. The mist of the strange planet is filling my head with such thoughts. It was cute when I didn't know you. Ouch. <laughs> Haven't had a relaxing job for 20 years. He actually gets oh, yeah. off on those retards thinking it's a space commander. He's a laughing stock, even to his buddies. Pathetic. Aww. Hey, Come Commander. On. So, in the Quasar dilemma, remember you used the auxiliary of deck B for gamma override. The thing is, is that online blueprints clearly indicate that deck B is independent of the guidance matrix. It's just a television show. If the quantum flux, I just listen on this. There is no goddamn ship! You got it? Oh, that's not nice either. Looks like a nice house. At least he's doing okay, even though he hasn't had an acting job in 15 years. As long as there's injustice, wherever a distress signal sounds among the stars, will be there. Never give up. Never give up. Never surrender. Never surrender. The mullet. You can pull it off, guys. Find his address. Oh, they are into oh. it. Why are they so smiley? Sir, I understand this is a terrible breach in protocol. Yeah, but should be kind of my house. Our people are being systematically hunted and slaughtered by Rathaseris. You are our last hope. <laughs> Just the thing, the thing that. Um... Oh my gosh. Maybe I should get some pants on. He's him. He's the dad from Veronica Mars. Keith Mars. Do you guys know I loved, love Veronica Mars, but I refuse to ever talk about it or promote it to in any way, shape, or form because of what they did. Would you guys look for another shoe? That looks like this, please. Yeah. Oh. I am Lank, Senior Requisition Officer. <gasps> what? Let me know if you have any requirements. Coca Cola. Do you have one of those, sir? I am Teb. I would like to explain the history. Hey, doesn't she talk? Her translator is broken. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm gonna just shut my eyes for a bit. Go on. Our people were one people, but then came the Zactar migration. You're serious? Are these real aliens? And it was in this time of dissent. Um. Commander. Your presence is requested on the command deck. Mm. Ceres has moved the deadline. I got most of the, the car. Ceres is the bad guy. They're serious. Do you have pages or do you just want me to wing this? I'm not sure I understand you. Welcome to the Protector 2. Good to see you. Like we're in space. Like in this movie, we're in real space. And he... I have just received word oh. that the Thermians have appointed a new commander to handle the negotiations. What? This is great. Usually it's just cardboard walls in the garage. We're approaching in five ticks, sir. Command to slow. Uh, set it on screensaver two. Oh, I'm sorry to break the mood here. Um, let's slow it down to mark two. I see fear. They bring a new commander. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Um, I mean, yeah, it looks, looks real. Blood. real. Then there will be blood and pain first. I require the Omega 13. Yoki doki, uh, let's fire blue particle cannons full, red particle cannons full. That should take care of old lobster head, shouldn't it? <laughs>
Wait a second, are real alien people gonna die because of those demands? Hey, buddy, you got me? Oh, yeah, you have problems with the guy. Just, uh, you know, give me a call. How can we thank you, Commander? You have saved our people. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So they think he's real? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. We've been all over the universe. But we've never seen space age values like we've seen here. By Grabthar's hammer. What a savings. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, let's hear it. My apologies. Evidently, we had a little miscommunication. Come on, guys. Guys, remember yesterday at the convention? Those people dressed like aliens? They were aliens. Termites are, are Dalmatians. I can't really remember because I was kind of hungover. Termites are Dalmatians? I know what you're thinking, but I can prove it. Oh. Wait, can you talk to people in space on those? <laughs> he switched it with the other guy. This isn't mine. That kid. Where's that kid? Begging your pardon, Commander. Saris lives. So he has Saris. contacted us and wishes to negotiate a surrender. They want me back and I want you guys to go with me, please. Alexander, this is not... I'm not kidding here. They're going to space, guys. I think we should have just taken the gig. Do you really think he was talking about a job? Your yeah, he's, he's in there. We are coming too. Wonderful. The commander had me continue transmission in case you changed your mind. Requesting four interstellar... What? Uh, me too. Five pods for immediate departure. End transmission. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> oh. Our most sincere apologies. We forgot about our appearance generators. Who wants the grand tour? <laughs> Anybody else? That was a hell of a thing. <laughs> What's wrong with him? I don't know. Come on. I am Mathazar. Mathazar, this is my crew. Doctor Lazarus. Lazarus. Lieutenant Madison. Lieutenant Madison. Crewman Luce. Guy. Gay. Know us? Since we first received transmission of your historical documents, we have studied every facet of your missions. You've been watching the show? Historical documents. We have modeled every aspect of our society from your example, and it has saved us. Your courage and teamwork and friendship through adversity. They modeled their whole society of a space TV show. Would you guys like to see the ship? He's so into it. This has got to be someone's dream, like, to find out that Star Wars was actually real and Hans needs their help. What have we got to send to you? going on? We're just here to negotiate this guy Sarah's surrender. Jason, we are actors, not astronauts. You guys want to go home? Fall asleep in front of the TV and miss out on all of this. You could tell NASA about this and be very important and rich and discoverers. The Almonte Cristo sandwich is a common favorite. We are actors. That is. We're all comes jazz about being on the show, man. If you would all take your positions. But what if they actually have to like fly the ship? Remember, I had it all worked out. This is forward. Some of the crew has requested to be present at this historic event. Sure, bring them in. <laughs> Laredo, take us out. Excuse me? They designed those controls after watching you. Right. Right. Okay. Oh, we're just gonna pretend. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's doing it! I'm a little worried about him. He thinks he's a real commander in space. Punch it! Get him to the right. You wanna drive this thing? <laughs> oh, I love them! I love them! How 
are you enjoying your steak, Commander? Really enjoying it. We programmed the food synthesizer for each of you based on the regional menu of your birthplace. Are you enjoying your cat my blood ticks, Dr. Lazarus? Just like Mother used to make. This Cyrus person, what does he want? The Omega-13. What is it? What does it do? He don't know. We were hoping you could enlighten us. Oh my gosh, that thing they talked about at the beginning of the episode. We found that in an alien planet. We don't know what it does either. Why don't you just turn it on? <laughs> it has at its heart a reactor capable of causing a chain reaction that would obliterate all matter in the universe. How does he know about the Omega-13 device? Originally one of our own tried to lead. After three days of this, you still require incentive. Ew. When I grow weary of the noises you make, you shall die. Hold on a minute. This can't be. I'm the guy in the episode who dies to prove the situation is serious. I gotta get out of here. We gotta prepare the pods for my crew's departure. Cyrus will surely detonate any objects leaving the ship. He's here now. He's here on the ship? Or just like, our ships are close enough to... FaceTime. Hello, Saris. How you doing? Better than my lieutenant. He failed to activate the ship's neutron armor on our last encounter. Uh, I'd like to say I'm real sorry about what happened. Deliver the device to me! It's yours, you can have it. You have to give me a minute to put it in a box for you. Gwen. Oh. Dealt with this guy before. He's as stupid as he is ugly. Okay, oh, Jason. Oh, press these red buttons and send everything we have to him, okay? <clears throat> put me back on with it. You are. Perhaps I'm not as stupid as I am ugly. <laughs> Commander. Gave you the kill gesture. No, you gave me the word dead signal. I was agreeing with you. Like I know where the whole button is. There's a red thingy moving toward the green thingy. I think we're the green thingy. Shields up. Okay, Commander, you've taken this too far. <laughs> Well, their ship looks scarier. That uh, can't be good. I've always saved Russian turbo, right? Hold it down! Punch it! Hyperspace! I always save press turbo! Enemies matching velocity! Hi, guys. The generators won't take it. Yeah, hold the turbo now. Quick boost! Oh, like you know! It's a minefield. That's me. I'm that guy. Will you possibly try not to hit every single one? I think I'm not getting. Continue forward, sir. Yeah, but you'll never get the Omega-13, right? And the Omega-13 isn't a real thing. It's literally something they just said on the episode. Can't be good. Everybody all right? No, I'm all in front. Ah, don't touch it! Can I take him to a medical quarters? Thanks, Madison. Ah! Alex, where are you going? To see if there's a pub. <laughs> he should take off his helmet. I want to see what <laughs> The beryllium sphere has fractured. It's fractured. Can it be repaired? Computer, can it be repaired? <laughs> They're doing it. They're doing the thing. Negative. Uh, no. You know, that is really getting annoying. I have one job on this lousy ship. It's stupid, but I'm gonna do it, okay? Sure, no problem. A thousand apologies. We have failed you. How have you failed us? We have seen you victorious in much more desperate situations. The fault must lie with us. Oh boy. No, matters all right. We are not the people you think we are. Didn't you make any TV shows on your planet? We have begun to document our history from your example. They're not all historical documents. I mean, surely you don't think that Gilligan's Island is a... Those poor people. Oh. Is there no one on your planet who behaves in a way that's contrary to reality? We have only recently become aware of this concept. Often Ceres will say one thing and do another. Oh. It is a concept we are beginning to learn at some great cost. But if you are saying that any of you could have traits in common with Ceres... <laughs> Ridiculous. I have lived my life by your philosophy. By Grabthar's hammer. Don't do that. I'm not kidding. Yes, sir. Never give up, never surrender. Here is your surface map. I've programmed the coordinates of a brilliant sphere of sufficient density. Good luck on your mission, sir. Thanks. How are they gonna. How 
be like, you guys have to come with us because uh, we can't do this on our own. What in the world? I changed my mind. Fuss you, man, about getting left behind. I'm not gonna die on the planet, guy. What's my last name? My character isn't important enough for a last name. <sighs> he is not phased. Hey, they don't have to wear like. Enough? Is there air? That was my question. Is there air? Seems okay. Looks like Utah. Which way, Alexander? This way. Right now. You know, with all that makeup and stuff, I actually thought you were smart for a second. He's a doctor. Must be some sort of mining facility. Where are the miners? Something bad happened here. Will you relax? There they are, beryllium spheres. How does he know that? <sighs> Would you look at that? They look like little children. Could they be the miners? Sure. They're like three years old. I don't like this at all. Oh, they are so cute. They are so cute. In a second, they're gonna get me. They're gonna get ugly somehow. But there's gonna be a million more of them. Oh, there's a little hurt one. Oh, I think the hurt. Did you guys ever watch the show? Oh. Look at that! One those things kills guys. We need a diversion to clear the compound of those things. Tommy, get up on that ridge. Why does this sound so familiar? Episode eighty-one. <laughs> We're doing episode 81. I died in episode 81! Why are you listening to this fella? He's wearing a costume, not a uniform. Look, they're gone. But they go back inside. Nobody was watching. Here's the plan. Gwen, Fred, Alex, and I will go down to the sphere. Tommy, your lookout. You see anything at all, you give us a signal. Call! Cool. Call! Cool. What are you, an infant? We have these. I would have gone with that. <laughs> Does the rolling help? Mm -hmm. Oh. What? Never give up. Oh! We really should have took a Thermian with us, guys. They really are gonna leave him? Oh? Oh, 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 oh. That looks exactly like the things that, um. Jason, we're gonna oh use gosh. the digital conveyor to get you out of here. You're gonna have to sit up there in a million pieces? They don't take my chance with Greek knack. It's perfectly safe. It has never been successfully tested. What did he say? Oh, please. I love him. But now that Tech Sergeant Chen is here, he can operate it. I can supervise. Jason, we're gonna test it. But what? Guys, who's the little guy I loved in Mandalorian that rode those things and helped them? I heard some squealing or something. Everything's fine. But the animal is inside out. Turned inside out? <gasps> oh! And it exploded. That animal <laughs> turned inside out and then it exploded? Hey, wait a minute, guys, guys. The pig lizard is gone. Why are they still young Garigna? Hit the translation circuit. I don't think the pig lizard was Gorgnak. Who is this too bizarre? Oh, darn. Rock, rock, rock. Am I the only one who saw that thing inside out with an eye going up? Fred's no good, Jason. You're just gonna have to kill it. Nobody eyes like in episode 22! It doesn't have any eyes, Tommy! Horrible spot! It's a rock! It doesn't have any sort of a spot! You construct a weapon. Look around you. Can you form some sort of rudimentary lathe? Get off the line, guy! <laughs> what is a lathe? It's not me anymore. I know in my heart you're gonna save my life. I mean, no doubt about it, Fred. <laughs> the zip. Yeah! <laughs> <gasps> oh, <wow>. <laughs> <laughs> so you managed to get your shirt off. <laughs> You're back to full power. You could drop us off and you guys can be back at your home planet before supper. We have no reason to go back. Family, friends, go on. We are all that is left. Sir, I have raised the command deck. Mathazar. Mathazar! Why can't we reach them? <gasps> 
Thesaurus. <laughs> I'm that guy. Amber. Thank God you're alive. Now oh, you will. Please, justice, Alice. You wish to save the life of this man. Then tell me, what does it do? Omega 13. Make it up. I don't know. <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Prepare a tear, Harness, for the female. <gasps> no. No. no! No! I'm not the commander. What did you say? Show him the historical documents. Computer. Show the historical documents. Is he gonna know it's a TV show? You have all done far greater damage than I ever could. Bravo! He looks very hurt. Why? Explain. What is that machine doing to him? He's so happy. Explain as you would a child. We pretended. Wait. We lied. Oh. We don't have a uh, ship. But there it is. And that ship is that big. Inside, I don't see any rooms. Sets that look like the inside. Wire with plaster around it. It's all fake. Just like me. Wait, this is actually so sad. To, to entertain. And, uh, I am so sorry. God, I am so sorry. Hardwire the reactor core to overload. Assessment about my people. Open an oxygen seal on level C. Release them into space. Emergency shutdown overridden. Fight back, guys. That's a happy ending, Jason. Never give up. Never surrender. Yeah, come on. Oh, Fin-headed monstrosity. You what? You're starting to act like you did in episode 17. You scene stealing hack. Oh, right. Oh, you got it. You Oh, that was real. Just like episode 17. That was close. The door's a little sticky. I'll get one of my boys up here with a can of WD-40. One of my boys? <laughs> you used to pull your punches. Same stealing hack. Guys, you're suffocating. <gasps> Help them! Hurry! Hurry, 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 hurry! We're gonna get to the core and shut down manually. You find that valve shut off before those thermos run out of here. Get to the barracks, you can get the door up in case they can't do that. What about me? You have practice driving. Let's go. I don't like when people split up. I don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor. I don't know how to shut down the neutron reactor either. But I know someone who does. Brendan, honey. I'm garbage. Just 10 more minutes, okay, Ma? I promise. Oh my gosh. Hello? Anybody there? Hello? We accidentally traded boxes the other day when we bumped into each other. Okay. <laughs> He's son? into it. What's your name, son? Brandon? You asked all those little technical questions about the ship? I understand completely that it's just a TV show. It's all real. I knew it. I knew it. Ah! Crew and I are in a lot of trouble and we need your help. Oh my gosh. We're bringing in the nerds. I'm into it. Oh, sir, it's you. I avoided capture by using your Mokhtar stealth haze. Level C, hallway five, now what? Oh. Go to weapon storage, and that leads to a system of utility corridors. Because they built the ship after the actual... Yeah, I'm gonna get Kyle. He knows the utility tunnel system better than anybody alive. Just turn off the valve to the barracks. Hi, Brandon. No time for pleasantries, Kyle. We have a level five emergency. I love this so much. This is so fun. <laughs> to the middle. The core implosion is not reversible. Let's all just gang up on that guy. Where do we go? Second to your left. It's always ducks. It's always ducks. Thanks for the heads up, Brandon. Help them. What I need you to see with your seed, the Omega 13. Just these few walls and this dumb spinning fan that we have in every single. That's the Omega 13. Ask Brandon what the Omega-13 is. Myself and others are convinced it's a matter of rearranging, affecting a 13-second time jump to the past. That's really not enough time to do anything of any importance. It'd be time to redeem a single mistake. I'll go in. I'm free to distraction. I got this. It's suicide. I'm just a glorified extra, Fred. I'd rather go out of here than a count. Maybe you're the plucky comic relief. 
plucky. Oh, besides, I just had this really interesting idea. So, perhaps together. The Makhtar chant of strength. The Rock Turath. The Rock Turath. The Rock Turath. Yes! Take a left and then straight on through the choppers. How are we supposed to get through this? The sequence is oh. two, two, four, two. Why is this here? Because he's on the television well, show. Forget it! Okay, go now. Go. Stop. Go. Nope, I would not trust. Whoever wrote this episode just died! <laughs> this would be interesting. I'm really worried about these people with no hair. Uh, it's been too long. It's the simple things in life you treasure. Brilliant. Whoa! Oh, that's not right. No. No. I, I love them. They're in love. These are species. <laughs> you know? Okay, this is wrecking the ship a little a lot, though. Oh, 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 okay. It's By golly, they did it! Alright, Let's get back to the commander. I'm shot. <gasps> That's not too bad. We'll get you to the medical quarters and you'll be fine. It has been my greatest honor to serve with you. I have been blessed, sir. Oh my gosh! You'll forgive my impertinence, sir, but even though we had never before met, I always considered you as a father to me. Quinnard? He's gonna say it for him. Don't go to the hammer. By the sons of Warvan, you shall be avenged. And he means it! Let's go get that Psycho Salazar guy! <sighs> Quill! His makeup actually does look legit. It kind of looks like a predator. Brandon, it's not working. Brandon! <laughs> Mother, I cannot stress enough the severity of Brandon's <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. It always stops at one on the show. <laughs> um, what were you saying? The third bits can handle for me. Get that armor back up. That's my armor. Engage. Oh my gosh, they're doing it. They're doing it. They're doing the show. Yeah, he is. The gods have wiped into the field. You don't have no Tommy, do you? Can you get us closer to these mines? Closer. I could try. Huh? The magnetism of the minefield is disrupting our instruments. Wait, there they are. They're coming right at us. Fire at me. <gasps> Divert all energy to the armor. He's taking it so seriously. The actors are going to play war. Shall I to Mark IV? Armor almost gone, Jason. You fail to realize my ship will tear through yours. And what you fail to realize is my ship is dragging mine. Hey yo! <laughs> Did we just win? Yes! <laughs> it's like real! Oh my gosh, this is so funny! As big as this, a very clever deception indeed! <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? So the cost phone, Commander? Can you do that? But well, we're gonna have to go through the black hole, though. Any objections? <laughs> What's the matter, Mathazar? We were hoping you could come with us. My people have no commander. Mathazar, I think you, your people did a great commander. Can you imagine how much fun they had making this? Sister. 
systems register functional. All systems are working, Commander. Before the Black Girl, there was an energy surge from Cyrus's ship. Let's not worry about that right now, Alexander. Fred, what are you doing up here? Hey, you you could put an eye out with that thing. <gasps> this is not real. What in the world? The Omega-13 to redo a single mistake. Super accelerated coming out of the black hole. We're gonna help Laredo guide it on the voxel. Use Roman candles for visual confirmation. Uh, all right, dinner's at seven. <laughs> Obviously. Oh my gosh. They're coming right to the convention. Whoa, she's coming in hot. Tell me no one was injured in that. <laughs> They're gonna come out of the spaceship. This is everything. This is everything. Everyone's pointing their guns at him. The rolling helps. <laughs> I literally have goosebumps. <laughs> I knew it. Get on up here, Brandon. We did it together. Oh my gosh. Back again after 18 years. <laughs> They're making more history, more historical documents. Oh my gosh. That was a riot. Are you kidding me? Come on, that was, I can see why you guys picked that for me. It was, I wanna say it was so fun, and it was, but it was like more than fun. It was just like, it was tender. You guys, it was tender. It was so tender. Oh my gosh, I loved it. It was just heartwarming and hilarious and making fun of itself in the best way. Every character like, you just like kind of love, they had their little quirks. It was so fun. You can't help but just have fun watching that. We need your help. <laughs> I had no idea that whole time it was from this movie. And that little gang of BFFs, I want their beef to be Galaxy Quest 2 and I want them to be on the show. You know what they should have done at the end? Like had them as like technical advisors or something. Oh my gosh. And I wanted like them to invite them in their homes and that. It, they did, they did. We just didn't see it, but they did. I know what they did. Okay, thank you guys so much. That was a blast. Makes me wanna move Star Trek up my list. What do you think? Okay, love you all. See you soon. Bye-bye.